Hey everyone, this is Matt and I'm going to be showing you how I created this creepy clown look I wore for last Halloween. I created this look with not much money, so here we go. First of all, I started the look off by gluing down my eyebrows because I'm a real adult. <laughs> yeah, you clicked on the right video. I started off by gluing my eyebrows the opposite way that they naturally grow, so there's something to stick to. And then I went over the eyebrows with a glue stick to smooth it down. I then put a layer of baby powder on to kind of set it, dry it and cover in the creases. I repeated this action a few times. Often people use spatulas, I used a spoon just to smooth it down. I then covered one of my makeup brushes with the baby powder and rolled it on as if you were rolling dough with a rolling pin. This seemed to work the best for me. To cover my face I did something which I really do not recommend but if you really want to do it, go for it, it's your life. I used coloured hairspray in the colour white to spray my entire skin which Make sure you do this in a well ventilated room. I did stick some tissue up my nose and wear safety goggles to protect my breathing and eyesight. Don't do it too close to the skin because if that happens, no makeup will stick to it. I could not afford some cheap white foundation so I ended up going to a pound shop and buying this cheap cream based white makeup for Halloween. When I first tried this, I put it in thick application and started just peeling off in chunks. So what I did is I used a sponge to thin it out and add some air into it and it took forever so be patient with this. If you're using expensive foundations, I don't recommend you do this because like Billy B says, sponges just eat your makeup. I left some areas out where I was going to put in some detail because this makeup does not allow you to draw too much detail onto it. So in these areas, I used basic white face paint in those areas, making sure I wasn't going to go anywhere near the glue on my eyebrows because as it's a water solvent glue, it will wash away. I did a few touch-ups to blend in the whites and I used the hairspray to kind of give it an overall coverage. I then used the baby powder to kind of cover everything, hopefully blend it in and give that chalky effect. Now for the eyes I used eyeliner, the tiniest eyeliner known to man. I drew a line from mid forehead to mid cheek going d vertically down my eyes. I did a feather technique to kind of give it like kind of rough edge, kind of by full tower shape. For under my eyes near the waterline, I used red face paint. I don't recommend this, it will blind you, but if you got some lip liner or eyeliner, go for it. I then filled in the areas with some grey eyeshadow to give it that dirty effect. If you want, you can use liquid eyeliner. I didn't have any at this point, but it may actually be easier to do that. Okay, I'm going to try and draw the lip. See, now we can see where I'm going to go with my underline. <laughs> Yeah, it's working. I look like Sting the Wrestler. This step didn't get filmed, but I did try to use con basic contouring with grey makeup to kind of carve out the cheeks and thin out the nose. I know I've got a huge nose and it's going to take a lot of eyeshadow to thin that nose. I painted my hands white and done my nails like so, just with acrylic paints, just, just messy. I was going to use the white hairspray to cover my arms. As soon as I went to my arms, run ran out, so I've just used my white face paint. It's took me forever. Done that, I'm going to wait for them to dry and put um, UV clear nail varnish on. So if I do end up going out to the club and there's a black light, it should hopefully glow. Okay, so with a mixture of this, I'm going to use um, a cheap fake blood. And I've got this um, spray blood, this zombie spray blood. So I'm just going to mix them both together. This the zombie blood gives the realistic colour and the cheap one just basically allows it to stay longer. So what I'm going to do is go around my eye as if I'm crying. Don't run, don't run, come on, this way, go. I don't know what this teapot hand is doing. I'm just going to quickly put it on my lip as well. <coughs> don't eat it, it's disgusting. So changing it to this really um, eccentric shirt that is originally from Top Man. You know I'm classy. So this is the wig I've got, it's got kind of a hat built into it. I sprayed some red hairspray to kind of disguise my natural hairline. Clear, okay, so it's clipped in badly. I'm gonna forget about this when I come home drunk and I'm just gonna rip it out and be bald in several places. For the outfit, I got an oversized bow, stitched on some of this fabric over the top of a waistcoat. I did patches to a pair of green sweatpants and sprayed some shoes red. I told you this outfit was cheap. Yep, so this is the finished look with my nails done. I've put a coat over it and redone it. My arm's kind of chunky and messed up. And this is where the camera died. So here are a few photos of the finished look. Thanks guys for watching. Please leave a comment for any suggestions of what I could be for Halloween this year. I hope you have a good Halloween. Bye guys.